Good morning, guys. It's your good morning cup of coffee with uh, Mikey Andrula. And uh, I just wanted to start this dialogue again. It's been a couple, it's been actually quite some time um, that I've been doing these daily podcasts or uh, video podcasts. And mainly because uh, things have been going on, things have been going on. Also, I don't want to add a lot of information and I don't think it's going to help you out right away. Things that can improve your life and uh, I'm not saying that I'm Anthony Robbins, and I don't think Anthony Robbins is anybody either. The This is just one human giving information, giving advice, giving stories that can help you out, maybe not help you out, inspire you, maybe not inspire you, but uh, especially for the younger guys, and they're growing up in similar situations like me, and they are trying to piece it together. I think I can help you, especially if you're dis, uh, dyslexic Guido from New Jersey. You have a lot of skills and talents <clears throat> and have, uh, fortitude, and that's really what I have, a uh, fortitude to make things happen, even if it's not smooth, even if people don't think I can do it. So I can instill this on you because, trust me, if I could do it, you can do it probably 10 times better. 2014 coming up. What does that mean for you? What does it mean for me? So right now I'm involved in... Uh, doing the CKO franchise training and we have a bunch of new locations opening up. It's very time uh, intensive so I don't have that much time to do the videos but anytime we're setting out a DVD it, it takes a lot of time and what you're seeing back there is a preview of the the newest DVD, the the uh, Kickboxing Heavy Bag Workout 4 and I just picked that title because it's pretty self-explanatory and also it's a niche group of people that get it. Um, it's people that are used to faster action striking. Uh, not a lot of people are used to that. It's been passed down. Striking is a slow, um, very clean, uh, not alive technique that's practiced. And I realized very quickly, if I can get people to not think, if you're just in reaction mode, all of a sudden your technique takes off because if I put a gun to your head and say, do this punch perfect, you do it perfect because you just react. You No thought. If, if, you, if I give you time to think and your brain is saying, I can't do this, I don't, I don't look cool doing this, it takes a lot longer to strike. And that's just after 10,000 classes, even more than 10,000 classes that I've taught. So keep that in mind. I'm giving you something that is extremely valuable for the price if you know what's up. If you don't get it, no problem. I refund the money. I don't want you as a customer anyway. If you don't get it, you're not in my maniac tribe. Besides that, we got CKOs all over the place, and I want to support that as much as possible because the more CKOs open, the more opportunity people have to do a workout that is going to be guided for them, and that's the most important thing. When you get involved in a normal gym, you have to produce your own workout or you have to pay for personal training. And I value both of them. I think if you want to get hit a goal, there's nothing better than getting a real trainer, a really good trainer. What's a really good trainer? Somebody that can motivate you, somebody you connect with, somebody that you sync up with. And when that happens, they're like a coach. You know, every, every professional, the best professionals in the world, CEOs, athletes, have coaches. They have coaches for a particular reason. Not because the coach is better than them. Um, the coach just gives them the information that they need to get further. It's the, when I'm dropping my hands, when I strike, I don't realize it. Okay, so your coach says, listen, your hands are dropping. Or they inspire you just a little bit. Or they keep you going. Whatever you need. So it's 2014. If you have the cash, invest in it. Uh, there's probably a lot of stuff you're investing in that are not paying the dividends that could for their, for you to succeed in life. So I'm just throwing that out there. Besides that, you have to get the proper information. And I'm just going from topic to topic. So this is how I do it, guys. I My brain is, is organized differently. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I have an abnormal brain. Uh, I can't decode uh, words but I can encode information. My, my brain can just keep producing information um, or, or start sifting through information and then give it back to you. And what I really want to focus in on, you got 
diet for 2014, guys. You're, you're going to be getting hit with lots of information. Most of it is faulty. And I can say that with a lot of confidence. And I can prove it to you. And the main way I can prove it to you is it, you don't trust. Most people don't trust anything from the government. Uh, they, they don't. Republican, Democrat, they don't they don't trust it. If you're in the government, you don't even trust it. I know FBI workers, uh, CIA, uh, IRS agents. They they don't they hate the they hate the government. They want the government to be cut back. They work for it, and um, I, I have nothing wrong against the government. I just think incentives have to be set up properly. So everything from the political side, they they're like absolutely not. No, I don't believe that. There's got to be another story. But when the health department puts out statements. When the health department makes suggestions, the health department, so the U.S. health department makes uh, recommendations, nobody questions it at all. They're like, okay, no problem. You're, you're telling me information. I'm going to believe you wholeheartedly. Flu, flu shots, uh, dietary, the food pyramid. Nobody says, hey, listen, I think we got the food pyramid wrong. They make a my plate. It's almost identical. And this is just the nature of life, boys and girls, or nature of the U.S., if I'm a company and I have a lot of money and I have nothing wrong with that to a certain degree, as long as you're doing the right thing, I, the farmers, the scientists that make the foods that make it bountiful, like we have food very cheap all over and we're feeding people, I, that is something we need. And if we didn't have these people, we'd probably be um, starving because I want it to be abundant. But the make the information honest. So if you're post cereals and, and post, you have to understand post is enormous. They don't own just post. They own so many brands. You can look up the chart. All these niche brands that you think like Kashi is it's owned by post cereals. Post has built and financed colleges and, and Tufts University. They, that's what I'm talking about. They, they donate money to a university, build a building. How do you think those nutritionists are going to be looking at um, their, their recommendations that you should eat 10 to 12 servings of carbs? Yes, they've infiltrated the education system, um, the government, and it's not a conspiracy. It's just good business. If you want to sell more cereal, you want to make more profits, then you're going to want to get out the PR. You want to even get it from the teachers, you know, tell people in college, mm -hmm. tell nutritionists, people have to eat four or five servings of uh, grains a day. Why? Because you're going to sell a lot more grains. So I don't blame them. I don't fault them at all. But if you're overweight, guys, um, it's, it's a problem for you. And it's a problem for me because I don't want you not to get results. If you don't get results, then it's a problem because then I'm just up here and I just say it in class all the time. I'm just up here, you know, spinning my wheels. Not that working out won't get you in better shape regardless, but if you truly want to get lose weight, and I'm coming from that camp because I need to lose a lot of weight, then you have to bring down the carbs. You have to get the blood chemistry correct. Your body does not recreate itself. So every day it's recreating itself over and over and over and over based on the stimulus that you're giving it. So if you're giving yourself, um, you're doing sprints, you're, you're stimulating systems that are going to help reproduce the body to be more effective to handling sprints. And you can look at the astronauts as an example. Uh, when the astronauts go up and they stay in the space station for 12 months, they have to do a lot of these different workouts and, and movements and uh, harnesses to keep their muscle mass, to keep their bone density up. And with all the science they have up there, they actually don't keep all of it. They lose 8% of their bone mass on their hips or they lose their muscle mass. Why? There's zero resistance. When there's zero resistance, it sends a stimulus to the body that it's unnecessary to keep the bone mass, to keep the muscle mass. Your body immediately starts losing it. Good news is when they come back within a year, they gain the muscle mass back, they gain the bone density back. So, what is that telling you as in terms to your body back to sprints? If you're doing the sprints, you're sending sending a stimulus to the body that it needs to recreate itself. The good thing about 
stimulating your body with workouts is it sends signals to produce hormones that people pay lots of money to inject themselves, anti-aging hormones, all the hormones that keep your skin young, keep your, your muscles strong, are produced when you do these workouts. So you want to do those workouts and then you want to eat correctly to your body type and your goals. If your goal is to lose body fat, you should eat a particular way, okay, and you should experiment with that, and I can help you with that. If your goal is to put on muscle mass, you're going to eat a particular way. Side note, most diets are, are coming from bodybuilding industries that want to put more muscle mass on. They're eating like a bodybuilder, but they don't want to look like a bodybuilder, which is insane. And then if you're on the other spectrum, you can't put on weight. And this is the most interesting spectrum to me because they can eat more calories. Calories don't equal calories if you have been following me at all over these years. But they can eat more calories and not put on body fat. What's going on there? What is their goal? So you have to look at your goals. Otherwise, I'm giving information out that is not valuable to you in particular. So it's not this video that's going, I'm going to be explained even scratch the surface, but what I can do is put that information, that idea out there that you have time right now before 2014 hits to do some research.